Welcome back, Tam Fam. So today we're talking to women who have a vibe that is an undeniable essence that motivates us to be better versions of ourselves. My next guest, Amy Jordan, was living her dream as a dancer in Manhattan when her entire life changed in an instant. Take a look. I was on the Upper West Side of Manhattan heading back to my office and one minute I was walking across the street and the next minute, bam. I was flat on the pavement. I couldn't move and I couldn't feel my leg. My first thought was, I'll never dance again. And my second thought was, if I survive, there'll be a victory dance. I would later come to find out that I had been hit and was under the tire of a 15-ton New York City Express bus. I was too afraid to ask the paramedic if my leg was still attached to my body. I was always determined to get back on my feet. I just kept thinking that victory dance, victory dance. Fam, fam, please welcome to our studio, Amy Jordan. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. <laughs> to see you here and know what you've gone through, you endured 20 surgeries, two months of burn intensive care unit stay, fighting for your life. Mm -hmm. I am just so struck by the fact that you said after the accident, you immediately thought, if I survive the night, there will be a dance victory. Your mind went to that place. Where did you get that level of strength? It's random what you think about when you're pinned under the tire of a New York City bus. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Only the professionals can do this. And, you know, as you know, I practice SJI Buddhism and I immediately started chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. I didn't know what had happened, but I thought, this is not good, I can't move. And everything from a spiritual perspective in my life is about creating victory. We're never a victim of our circumstances, yeah. right? So even in that moment, I thought, I'm a dancer. Yeah. So I immediately went to dance. victory dance. I was also hallucinating and... But it was real because in 2014, you founded the Victory Dance Project. Yes. So at that time, and now your story is, is a documentary film called Amy's Victory Dance. What do you hope that people get from seeing you? And even in your, 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 your rally call, which is to love your scars. Yes. Right? You have your scars. You have this beautiful dress on. What do you want people to get out of this journey of watching all of this? We all have challenges, and I think the release of this film right now is so mystic with everything that we've been going through in the world with COVID. We're all having to redirect our lives, and we all have challenges. We all have scars of yeah. some nature, and just be who you are. I wear your hot pants, you know. <laughs> this is, <laughs> take it or leave it, you know. I worked hard to keep this leg. I'm so proud of her, so why wouldn't I show oh her off, you know? Well, you know, I love the title of the book, Dance, Because You Can. The film, all of it is so inspiring. And by the yeah. way, Tam Fam, you can see more of Amy's story in that documentary. It's called Amy's Victory Dance. I'm about to cry. <laughs> it is available now on Prime Video, Apple TV, Google Play, and Vudu. And Amy's book, Dance Because You Can, Five Steps to Transform Triumph, Trauma into Triumph. Guess what? Because everyone does have a scar, whether it's exterior or interior. We all are trying to get past something in our lives. Everybody in the audience gets to read this because you're all going home with a copy of this beautiful book. And when we come back, it is time to shop Tan Fan. But before we go to our break, Amy, it is called The Victory Dance. Will you honor us in standing and showing us a little as we go to the break? All right, let's hit it. All right. Go ahead.